built a very nice life here in Florida. You bought this beautiful house. Um, you must be loving it here in Florida. Do you consider it home? Florida is, um, is my home. It's been my home for a few years now. Mm -hmm. I do love living here. I love, I mean, I found a lot of great people here too. Yeah. So uh, that helps. Climate? I met, um, weather? The weather is hot. <laughs> <laughs> After living in New York and California, this is very hot. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but it's okay, I mean, it's nice, because at least you can go out in the pool or go to the beach and the water is yeah, not is water frozen. There, yeah. <laughs> like in California, see. the water is actually swimmable. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I mean, it's, it's nice, I've adjusted pretty well. The Caribbean is right here, okay. and I'm very close to Europe. Yeah. That's my other thing. California was really far from Europe, it was hard. What do you miss about Spain, if anything? Everything. <laughs> I miss my family for first and foremost. Mm -hmm. I miss the food, I miss going out at night, you know, with my friends in the city. I miss a lot of things. People are really warm in Spain, I think. Yeah, people, definitely. Um, so you were married three times. Mm -hmm. What are the big takeaways from each of those first two relationships? It was very important to me to always keep my uh, individuality. Because if you don't keep your individuality, you run into a situation where you're unable to move. So, I mean, luckily for me, I was always able to say, enough is enough and I'm moving on. So for a time, you were a single mom with two young children. Yep. Um, where did you, how did you carry on? What helped you? What was the source of your emotional support? Where did you get your strength? My family, my parents and my sisters. You're alone in a foreign country. Yeah. At the end of the day, if you're sad, you just call FaceTime. Them. Yeah, okay. WhatsApp. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I had friends too, obviously. Mm -hmm. You know, Jonathan Banks' wife, a uh, very good friend of mine. Mm -hmm. She helped me very much. And I have another friend in California, Tracy, that mm -hmm. I've known forever, another actress. Yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, thanks to all of them, yeah, I made it happen. <laughs> in your opinion, is the difference between European men and American men? One of the things that, I've, that have been harder for me in this country is uh, to deal with those you know, football Sundays. That, that was very hard for me. <laughs> it is still something that I don't understand, <laughs> but it's okay. But that, I'm a European. And uh, I think we have uh, soccer. Right? We have soccer, but I don't think it's as crazy. Maybe my father, but not okay. you know, the younger generation. I don't know. Yeah, but uh, I don't know. Either. I. I mean, there are dif differences, you know, the way they dress, the way they do their hair. Yeah, definitely, yes. Okay. So, motherhood, what kind of mom are you? Are you more of a buddy, friend, or more of an authority? I try to, I try to be mom, like, you know, authority. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think I should be a friend to my kids, but I definitely want them to know that uh, I'm here for whatever they need. Mm -hmm. they, they tell me what they choose to tell me. <laughs> They have Spanish, half American. How important is it for you that they know their Spanish roots and preserve the Spanish identity? A hundred percent. They speak both, English. They speak I mean, English and, the, and the, Spanish. The, yeah, of course, Spanish. Yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> they speak both, uh, and they actually are double citizens as well. They have the okay. Spanish passport as well as the American. So mm -hmm. it's important to me very much, though. Okay. Yeah. And now let's circle back to the Matsuo part. <laughs> uh, you're married now to a former professional golfer. Yes. Who was actually featured on a reality TV show about golf, The yep. Big Break, Hiroshi Matsuo. So how did you two meet? Hiroshi, maybe you will chip in and offer your version of the events. <laughs> well, we were lucky a couple of years ago. Uh, we got introduced by some friends and uh, it made a phone call to her and luckily she picked up and uh, everything has been great ever since. Yeah, I have a lot of girlfriends here who are single and they always, they just don't know where to look, I guess, right? <laughs> it's not easy. <laughs> Sometimes you just get lucky. <laughs> Mercedes, question to you, how did you know that this is it? How did he win your heart? Well, I think uh, it, it didn't take very much we actually uh, had a great first date, first conversation on the phone. Great first date. We had tea for like hours. Uh, I can't remember the name of the place. It's a tea place in Del Rey Beach. Uh -huh. And uh, then he, shortly after he came over here, I made paella for him and he met my parents oh, nice. and my kids. So wow. 
you had your parents coincidentally here. Oh, yes. <laughs> he met everybody. Oh, I met her parents on the first date. Yes. Wow. The first physical date. Yes. And uh, yeah, Meant I mean, to be, right? <laughs> it was unbelievable. But I thought, I mean, he was so gentle and he was so such a great guy. And I mean, that's something. And I think the chemistry is so important. Mm -hmm. And I, I believe that that's, you know, ultimately what, you know, I mean, I think I told him I love you like the first month. Oh, <laughs> that's nice. You were the first one to say that? I think so. Yeah, she was the first one. I uh, think so. <laughs> but it didn't take me much longer. After that. <laughs> What do you guys like doing? You said you like to cook together, right? What, what do you usually make? Some we make Spanish? so much stuff. We make stuff. so much stuff. Uh, I know. Coronavirus, you know, especially with the <laughs> changed, uh, yeah, it's changed definitely fun. changed our routine in regards to what mm -hmm. we really enjoy for fun. Uh, we're foodies by heart. There's no doubt oh, yeah. about that. So uh, when coronavirus kind of kept us at home and it, you know, we felt obviously not as safe going out. Uh, we brought our kick, our cooking skills back uh, in full force to the next level, yeah, right? Because <laughs> uh, we were always good cooks, both of us. But uh, we tend to experiment quite a bit, though, actually. Yeah. And and we will take some ideas from, let's say, maybe some recipes or some even going to restaurants, and we we try things that we love. Wow. And uh, <laughs> we'll really we'll bring it back here and put our little take on it too, and just kind of mess around with it. And yeah. sometimes we get lucky, and sometimes. Uh, we make a few mistakes too. <laughs> no, he makes amazing tuna tataki, obviously. He makes hamburgers that are out of this world. Nice. Uh, chicken as well. I make a lot of the paellas and fideuas and sauces like mushroom sauce. Mm -hmm. and I so this is a wrap up. What are you currently excited about? Any new projects that you're working on? I am working on a, on a, on a couple of things. Um, the most exciting is my company in Spain with my family. We are building, uh, we are really refurbishing an old building. Our aim is to um, be able to refurbish a few homes per year. Sell them, obviously, yeah. <laughs> in the north of Spain, uh, by the beach, Costa Brava. It's very close mm -hmm. to uh, Barcelona, Girona, all that area. What's the other project? My other project is the perfumes. Uh, the company is called Paris Elysee. They are from Grasse, the south of France. At any given moment, they have the most uh, essential oils in, in the market. What we're trying to do is uh, to get distributors here. right in the US, Canada. Mm -hmm. We also are working on Mexico, Colombia, and uh, other parts of the world. Where do you see yourself in, let's say, five years from now? In five years from now, I think I'm going to be in Spain because I want to be back with my family um, mm -hmm. and I want my kids uh, to be able to you know, experience living in Europe and other cultures and the languages and, and all that. Mm -hmm. uh, but I mean, I think I will still be doing what I'm doing today. Hopefully, you know, it will go really, really well. The refurbishing definitely, it, the, the family business is going to be, you know, ongoing. So, okay. yeah. And now, uh, modified version. Jane's version of Proust questionnaire. Ready? Okay. Let's roll. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> if you could change one thing about yourself, what would it be? I, I would like to be a little bit shorter so I can actually wear high heels <laughs> and I feel like I'm 6'5". <laughs> I wish I could be a little bit tall. I'll, I'll, I'll let's give change. you a few, a few inches. <laughs> what talent would you like to have? I would like to fly. Like airplanes, um, helicopters? Yeah, or? I would love to. You know, I was taking classes. I know you yeah, were. But now with coronavirus, yeah, I love it. Too. Relaxing. Yeah. Which living person do you admire? I think I admire a few people. Okay, for instance, one. Elon Musk, I think is amazing. What's the last book that you read or reading now? I went back to reading uh, The Art of War. I keep, I read that up, you know, like every so often I read it again. So I think it may be the last one. Mm -hmm. Who is your favorite writer or poet? Cervantes. Cervantes. <laughs> no, I love Don Quixote. <laughs> no, I'm Don Quixote kidding. is fabulous. I'm I know. I love Pablo Neruda. What is your most treasured possession? My kids. Are they a possession? <laughs> <laughs> what is your guilty pleasure? Ooh, chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> what is your greatest fear? Uh, actually, not spending enough time with the people I love. What is your idea of perfect happiness? Being surrounded by people you love. And finally, what is your personal creed or you live by? 
I live by tolerance. I think tolerance and understanding of everybody and that everybody is different is a very important thing and I try to live by it. Especially now in this climate, I, I promise it's going to be a fluff piece, nothing serious, but, right. but all the craziness that's happening now in this country, yeah. we absolutely need tolerance. Absolutely, and I hope that people are tolerant with me too, you know, yeah. because nobody's perfect and everybody's different. Yeah. And that's a wrap. If you want to learn more about Mercedes, please visit her professional website, which is wildheartus.com, and that would be for the perfumes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Follow her on Instagram. The link is below. Uh, please post your questions and comments. And uh, thanks for watching. Until my next episode, I'm Jane Greaves. Goodbye.